Hey guys, uh, just checking in. Gina here. Um, I did not come on to do a live last week because I was in San Diego at an all-star business coaching retreat. It's part of a business coaching program that I had joined um, starting in September. It's a year-long program and it's solely focused on growing your business, um, aligning it with your true values and um, it's really been amazing, um, and last week was so transformative for me um, and valuable and knowledgeable, and one of the things that I learned was sometimes we all get stuck, um, and we might get stuck in a personal, uh, somewhere in our personal life, we might get stuck somewhere in our professional or career, and what happens is, is sometimes we get stuck and we stay stuck, and it happens. It happens to many people, um, even coaches, and so coaches need coaches, <laughs> and I have a few. Um, and so one of the things that I, I walked away with was to trust myself enough that if I show up and take an actionable step each day, regardless if I'm stuck or not, that I will move forward. And sometimes we just need to allow ourselves to feel what's going on, to acknowledge why we're stuck, figure out the root cause, and some possible solutions on how to get out of it and avoid that going forward. And one of the things that I focus on, I had to reshift a little bit um, for myself and my business because I was feeling a little stuck in some areas. Um, sometimes we have triggers or events in our life and we just get stuck. And so I felt a little stuck for a while. And yeah, I was taking actionable steps, but I wasn't doing it daily. And so what I found was, if I have consistent trust in myself and I show up and I do my best work and I take one actionable step each day towards my goal, so redefining my goal, because it has changed, um, I've attained most of the goals that I set, and then some have changed and shifted, and that's okay because that's part of the agility mindset that I have is, you know, I'm, I'm going down a path or I have this vision, and then something happens or something comes up for me, and I'm like, you know what? This feels better or this seems right, and so I will go with it, right? So it's that agility, uh, being able to, try something, see if it works, try something else, consciously, consistently looking inward so I can be my best self and show up. And so I wanted to just come on and share that, share that with you and some of the things that I'm doing. Um, but before I do that, this was a daily inspiration. And so I'm going to pull out of my little success. <laughs> the message of the day is our greatest glory is not in never falling but in rising every time we fall by Confucius and so wow that's pretty cool our greatest glory is not in never falling but in rising every time we fall and that is that is really cool and that's resonating so much with me right now for so many different reasons right I was just talking about being stuck a little bit um, and sometimes when we're stuck in our personal life it overflows into our professional life or vice versa and I'm gonna go more into that with a let's talk life later in the week but yeah so this is a really cool message and how this resonates for me um, our greatest glory is not in never falling but in rising every time we fall so when I think about it I look at it as like it's not a failure and yes, we may have setbacks, and there's a reason for it. So what's the intention of that setback? Or what's the intention of, what is the universe or God or whatever it is that you believe, what is that trying to tell you? What, what do I need to be learning from this? And that's really what I think about it. And so it's not in falling, but it's rising every time we fall and what I've noticed in myself and if I can look inward for a moment and think about every time I felt challenged 
or every time I felt like I was having a setback or every time I took two steps forward and I was in a growth and I had a growth moment and I had momentum, then life would throw me a curveball <laughs> and I would feel like it was a setback. And really what it was, it was the universe telling me that I need to take a deeper look and see what's going on. What else needs to be nourished? What's, what's the lesson here? And so part of what I did when I was on my business retreat um, last week at San Diego, which was emotionally exhausting, <laughs> very long days, but wow, did I, did I get a lot out of that? And uh, I am implementing certain things in my business. But part of it was showing up and doing my best work and taking actionable steps towards my goals. So what I did was I redefined my goals. I clarified my vision. I honed in on who I really want to work with and where I want to take my business and why, which was huge for me, right? It's all about being vulnerable and courageous and taking step forwards and just showing up, having enough faith and trust in yourself that you will do it just show up and take this action. And so what I did was I had this journal that I've been waiting for. It's, um, it's called the Freedom Journal. I've had this for a year. Um, I had participated or joined a program from John Lee Dumas, um, and it was about 100 days to reaching your number one goal. And so for whatever reason, I waited a year and I continue to set goals and, and set my intentions and using my Panda Planner, which has been really helpful for me to move forward. But I needed to get unstuck. And so I came home from the retreat, which was, the theme was freedom, which was really interesting. And I, and I found, I got home Sunday, and I found this book, this Freedom Journal on Monday. So there's a sign there, okay, it's time to use it. And so what I did was I started creating some content in here and filling it out, right? So it's about iterating, right? So every day I go through and I, and I set up my actions for the day and what I want to accomplish and what I'm grateful for. And it's similar to the what I was doing with setting my intentions and planning out my day, but this is more aligned with one specific and measurable goal, one SMART goal. And then listing out ways to accomplish these things, um, three measurable objectives that support my goal. And then at night, looking back into it and going through the wonderful things that happened today or the positive things, um, the struggles that I encountered or challenges as I like to call them, and then thinking about the possible solutions for those challenges, sort of retrospecting my day, similar to what I was doing, it's just, a little more honed in on business um, and it's really cool because I've only been doing it for a couple days and what I found was the biggest step forward is being vulnerable and, and admitting that you need support or you need some guidance or you just need um, a tribe to help you get back on track. And that's why we have people. That's why we have coaches. And I have my groups of coaches. I have masterminds of coaches um, that I set separate for myself, for my business, um, for the school, for Health Coach Institute. And it's been awesome. And I have to tell you, <laughs> it's so freaking cool. Um, I'm just going to show up. I'm going to do my best work. Um, I'm going to trust the universe and myself. And that it's not necessarily that I haven't been showing up, and this was a reframe on a coaching call that I had this morning. Um, it's not that I haven't been showing up, and I wrote this down in a sticky note, but it's I'm showing up in my own way, in my own time, with my own rhythm. And once I, once I had that reframe, this was a, a, a coaching call that I had with my coach, it was like, oh, yeah. So I don't need to have a little bit of a beat up session on myself because I felt like I was set back and not showing up for myself in certain areas, right? Not for everything, but in certain areas. 
yet I was still taking action, but the intention behind it wasn't clear. And so now I have so much more clarity and so much more purpose in what I'm doing now and moving forward and how I want to move forward and how I'm going to ask for support and be supportive of others. I mean, there's a tribe of us. It was 200 and I want to say 47 coaches from all over the world at this, it's a retreat, a coaching mastery retreat. And I was part of the all-star business program. And it was so impactful and powerful to just be surrounded by all of these like-minded people and just being vulnerable of some of the struggles and challenges that we had and how we can overcome them because we can only take our clients as far as we're willing to go. And so if I'm asking my people and my clients and people I coach and work with, whether it's business clients um, or individual one-on-one -on -one or professionals or it doesn't matter, you know, I need to do it for myself. And I have been, just lately it wasn't consistent. And so here I am saying I'm showing up. Um, I will do my best work for myself because for myself will overflow into how I show up for my clients and my tribe member uh, and my mastery students and my mastermind. So that's it. I have my freedom journal. I redefined my daily morning routine to allow for two hours, I'm getting up earlier, to allow for two hours in the morning to take care of my puppy, to meditate, to set my intentions in journal, the little Reiki, uh, plan out my day. And that's all done starting at 6.30 in the morning. The first two hours of the day are really me, just me. And then I move forward, and then I have my coaching calls, and my students, and my clients, and I work on my business, so uh, I'm constantly learning and growing, so I'm constantly in new content. Um, and it's really cool, so it's interesting that that, <laughs> that the message of the day for this daily inspiration was that our greatest glory is not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. And that was just really cool that that was the message for today, and I really believe that you know things align for a reason, things happen for a reason. Um, divine timing, right? What's meant to be will be. And so I'm breathing into that. Um, I am creating so much growth in my business this week and really honing in on what it is that I want and the steps that I'm going to be taking going forward um, to support that. So I hope you guys have a great day. I hope this message resonated with you and you appreciated this message. You know, feel free to comment below if you had something that resonated or if you know somebody that needs to hear this message that, you know, sometimes we get stuck, right? And it's not permanent, it's just a moment. What do we need to learn at that moment? What is it teaching us? Um, what is it that we need to be doing, right? And sometimes that's just stepping back and giving ourselves a little space to just be, right? Sometimes we just need to give ourselves space to be and process what's going on and appreciate what's happening in our life and the messages that we need to receive or that we need to understand that we are receiving. And so sometimes we need a little space and that's okay. And that's really important part of the growth process and transformation is knowing when you need to step back, regardless of who you are or where you are, right? Because we're all humans. Um, we all have stuff, personal, career, whatever, but we all have some things, and that's okay. So show up, do your best, you know, be transparent, take an action every day and align it with the goals, and if you're not sure what your goals are or the actions to take, then ask for support. That's what we do. Ask for support and get unstuck and move forward. And so I hope you guys have a great day. If this message resonated for you, comment below. I'd love to hear some, some things that you have done to get unstuck, um, some things that resonated for you in moving forward or how you show up for yourself each day and your people. And, you know, if you have ever or if you are now trusting in yourself, 
um, or if you haven't, what that might look like, right? What might it look like for you to trust in yourself that you can get what you want and you can experience what it is that you want to be experiencing in life? Sometimes we just need a little clarity around it. Sometimes we need a little support or a brainstorming session to get fresh perspectives, right? Sometimes we just need a complete reframe, right? And for me it was, you know, I haven't been showing up as much as I'd like to or, or as much as I'd plan. And really the reframe was, it's not that I'm not showing up, it's that I'm showing up in my own way on my own time after I take care of and give myself the space that I need to nourish what I need so I can be the best version of myself for myself and the people around me, including my business and my tribe at Health Coach Institute. And so really just cool and enlightening. Um, it's been a really amazing and deep and transformational week um, for me personally and my business, and I'm excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. Uh, because I'm on a mission. I am on a mission to create awareness around um, the support we need and how we show up for ourselves at home and it's how we show up at work and everything we do. Right? So how do you nourish all the different aspects of your life and your relationships so you're okay and you show up empowered and you feel good every day? Yeah, you have moments or days and times, and you know, ups and downs in life, but... What can we do to just show up? No. Different for everyone. This was my show up. So here I am. Have a great day. Comment below. Let me know what resonated for you. Um, and if you know somebody that needs to hear this message or feeling stuck or whatever, just share it. Tag them in the comments. Share the message. Um, I will make it public. And it will be posted on my Facebook page under videos. So I hope you guys have a great day. And thanks for listening.